The further point about eating on Hanukkah. Everybody knows that on Hanukkah you eat latkes in the diaspora in America, and in Eretz Israel you eat sufganiyot, jelly-filled muffins. Uh, the reason that you eat the latkes and the sufganiyot is because they uh, they uh, um, contain excessive amounts of oil. Not the kind of thing that we like to feed our friends and children generally, but something which has become part of the Hanukkah tradition. We eat the latkes, the sufganiyot, filled with oil, in order to remind us that the holiday of Hanukkah is somehow connected to the oil, the oil that we use in the Beit HaMikdash, and the oil that became the miracle of Hanukkah. Naturally, we will make the mistake of thinking that the oil in the sufganiyot, in these muffins, or the oil in the latkes, could be used in the Beit HaMikdash to light the candles. I mean, no one would think that. Nevertheless, somehow, uh, we, feel, we feel good about making it an oily holiday in every way that we possibly can. And so the custom is that we eat food that has a lot of oil in it. You know, it's fried in oil, it's baked in oil, it's cooked in oil, I mean, just a lot of oil. The second minhag that has to do with eating is about milchiks. Uh, we eat uh, cheeses on, uh, on Hanukkah. And this is to commemorate a miracle that was done when Yehudit uh, fed our enemy, our great uh, enemy, uh, Gvina, cheese. It went to sleep and, uh, and she uh, disconnected his head from the rest of his body, I think. And as a result, uh, the, uh, the Greeks, when they saw what had happened, the Greeks were, uh, were frightened. And uh, she brought the head to Yerushalayim and she put it on the wall and uh, you know, all were frightened and ran away. So in spite of the fact that some uh, argue about the historicity of this, whether this uh, happened at the time of Hanukkah or perhaps at some later time, there is no doubt that it was associated within the context of the halacha, it's in the Shulchan Aruch, and the commentaries on the Shulchan Aruch, that... Uh, that this minhag truly exists. And therefore, we kind of emphasize milchike foods on the, on the holiday of, of Hanukkah. So there are two minhagim. One is connected to eating food that has a lot of oil, or is made with a lot of oil, and the other is connected to uh, eating chalavi, eating milchiks. And while it's not perfectly, we're not perfectly certain about where these minhagim originate, there is no doubt that they exist. They are even uh, in the Shulchan Aruch, they are represented in the major uh, uh, texts that refer to halachic uh, involvement. And, and therefore, therefore, there's some, you know, some reasonableness to remembering the Minhag and to joining in with Klau Yisrael, with the entire Jewish people, in eating these kinds of food on Hanukkah.